Hey you guys, I am back again. So, let's go a second round with a cute girl named Kula Diamond. One more time. Showing this off, we are on Maniac. Let us see how good we can play Miss Kula Diamond. One of my favorite char favorite characters? Who's a good character? He's one of my favorite characters. Let's see what we gotta play with. What do we have? He's these alphas are quite nice. Look at this! Kind of reminds me a bit like Ash Crimson, if you ask me. This is also quite nice. And then we got some candy. And then we got pink cushion candy. <laughs> they look good. They look good. This looks ugly. This looks super ugly. I am not a fan. This one's not bad. And this is a uh, cloth. This is pretty nice. I like that one. But. For the game, we need to go original. Shall we? Come on, get serious! Wrong one! Okay. Ah, oh, beats me out, bro. I need another. Oh shit, she's very slow. She can only get one in? Okay. Okay. So what does that mean? Oh shit, I forgot, she's down food, down food. Keep thinking female Terry Bogart. <laughs> Not Power Geyser. No Power Geyser. And her, oh god, she's only got down food A and down food C. Her, oh god. Honey? Was that not a punch? Her punch is a kick? Oh my god, her light punch is a, a kick. Alright. Gotta find some, find some combos to play with. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see if this works. And it is beautiful. Jumping in! Ah, oh, come on. Not it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, he's with us! Goodbye, supers. Oh, shit, I'm dead. Oh, totally dead. Uh, don't really have much to play with. 
<laughs> Just thought of with low punch. Down low punch. Light. Right, carry. This may not go as good as what I think. Craps. What? Didn't work. Rubbish. Wanted me. You crazy? Want something sweet? Let me just. Oh, oh. Hey, I love this move. That's a great level three. It's so easy. Well, it's not easy to land. It's good to land. Bye bye. I think that guy's name is Rick. That was in the background, which I totally forgot. <laughs> oh, don't do that. The uppercut. I thought someone was in the tree as well before, but he panned out, so I couldn't really see. Oh, shit. Big one. Small one. Whoops. I'll look for that one. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> There's a whip. Damn armored attack. No, cool, you doodle. Oh, nothing. 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 Nani. <laughs> Whoa, 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 what are you doing, girl? You boys are just back, why are you not coming out? Yeah, no coming out. The three did not come out. Would have killed him easily. Ah, where's the uppercut cooler? 
no uppercut. Nasty man. Like a beast, Yori. Ah. Whoa, he evades it. Okay, okay, okay. I got something for you. Ah. Yeah. Do it from the side. <laughs> oh, come on, it was armored. Mm. Oops, I didn't mean to jump forward. Don't beat me in the ass. That is so armored. Go. Oh, oh, Shin showed. Shin showed. Look at eight. Who's that guy in the back? Oh my god. I want to see someone that looks like Shingen from Sengoku. But it is a different company. Hang on, I can't see it from here. I need to be on the outside. You, I'll take it. Oh, I can't go outside, damn it. This girl needs to talk like an old bar somehow. Ah, I couldn't get it out. Thank you. Woo! Lucky. 
Oh god, she don't get that one. Oh, 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 level three. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I think I'm dead, so let's, uh, try and get some super. I gotta build that level three up. I do? Okay, 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 okay. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh, thank God for that level two. お姉ちゃん、誰私はルイーゼマイリンク。友達はルーって呼ぶわ。あなたみたいな女の子がどうしてこんなところへあのね、お仕事手伝ったらたくさん愛想を買ってくれるっておじさんが言ったから。とんで
just to get the, the single super. Okay, 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 don't spin, don't spin. Okay, this one, this one. Let's save this for the next round. That's perfect. Thank you. That's not so perfect. I like it. Oh, no upper. No upper. Come at me. <laughs> ちょっと。逃げたのだよ。さすがに都合よくここで始末させてはくれないらしい。誰あなたが私と戦う人誰君の対戦相手であると同時に本大会の主催者でもあるクシエルを滑る闇の爪ジバートマと見知りを置いてい
さすがだなまさかこの星の人間に破れるとは思わなかったよそれよりマキシマ博士って人は<笑>いつまでもここに置いておくと思うかねえー、いないのアデスの手足はクシエルだけではない君が考えているより我々の組織は強大なのだよこの人も消えちゃったああもうみんな嫌い博士たちはもうどっかに連れてかれちゃった後みたいっていうかそうじゃなかったら今頃ぺちゃんこになっちゃってるかもおいおい人ごとみたいに言うなよだってクーラーのせいじゃないもんああ分かってるよご苦労さん約束通りアイス買ってやるから早く戻ってきなウィップも心配してるうん分かった今すぐ帰るね見つけたぞお前お前だろう人が気絶してる間にこんな真似したのだってせっかく可愛いのに怖い顔ばっかりしてるんだね余計なお世話この待てほらまた怖い顔で怒ってる
Okay, so I'm telling myself if I beat this game with cooler before 1 a.m., play another round. You wanna know what time we beat it? 12:59. That's why you guys get another game with me. Okay, let's read that profile first. Did not expect that. Game over. Game is cool. You've seen all your outfits as well. Data. Name. Cooler Diamond, birthday 29th of May, height 5'5, five five. weight 106 pounds, blood type unknown, origin unknown, fighting style anti K arts, hobby gathering replacement pass for candy. Interesting. Favorite things candy. Like strawberry sherbet, lollipops, dislikes, crowds, flames. Special skills skating. Nickname The Icicle Fox. Story The Operative. For the Secret Nest Syndicate, her codename is Andy K. She is able to freeze airborne moisture at the will thanks to surgically modifications, but the surgery has left part of her emotionally immature. Initially, she opposed K, but gradually came to a mutual understanding as a result of the shared fate of having their lives ruined by Ness. After the destruction of Ness, she began to work with K and Maxima. Essential. Okay, story. She has been asking the same question for before of Cella, who brushes her chestnut hair almost every night. Who is Cella? Why do we keep having to run away? Momentarily bringing her hand, holding the, the brush to a stop. Cella laughs bitterly. Is Cella a whip? Uh, uh, let's see. To continue life aimlessly on the run or stand and fight, those are the only choice left for Cooler and Cella, but naturally, those days were not just a series of trials. On the contrary, not counting the missions for Cooler who had been forbidden to leave the Nest facilities, future to flight all over the world along with K, Maxima, Cella was a series of exciting events has to be whipped, an experience one could describe as fun, though even during times like these, Cooler was only innocently asking about that she didn't understand. Why do we have to continue running away? But for Cella, however, Kula somehow guessed from her expression this was not a very enjoyable question to have to answer. It was pain her it pained her heart, Kula. After a long silence, Cella brushed back a drooping lock of hair from Kula's temple, pinning it back with an accessory pin, and replies, You do realize that the things Ness did were wrong, don't you? Yes, but everyone at Ness has been brought to justice, right? Yes, that's right. Ness had has certainly been destroyed, but there may still be evil people throughout the world who are trying to rebuild Ness. It's un very unforgivable, unfortunate, but it's a fact. Kula, her brushing session, uh, scrunches next to Scylla. We're sitting on the bed and wait for the rest of her reply. We are fighting against the, those people. You mean the kind of people we dealt with yesterday? Yes. And the people we dealt with last week too? That's right. Stella nods at every one of Kula's innocent questions repeated over and over again. If we leave them to their own devices, a newness is sure to be born. And not only that, those people won't leave us alone either. Why? Because we're Ness, and they created us. Ness created us? So? Our bodies are the products of Ness scientific technology. This answers el elicited a pained expression on Seller's face, making it still sadder than before. To put it to sim simply, the people who are trying to become part of a new Ness will capture us, dissect us, and attempt to create more human weapons to fight you and Kay. Do you understand? Dissect? That laughs when Kula questionly cocks her head, then gently whispers the meaning into her ear. Huh? Kula wants to know part of that. I thought so. Stella gently draws Kula's head to her. No one like us then can ever be created again. That's why we fight against those people from Ness. Do you understand? We certainly may have been created as weapons to fight. Made to fight? 
but that was wrong. We aren't weapons, each of us are human beings, free to live as we see fit. Yeah. Burying her face in Sella's breast, Kula nods in deep agreement. In truth, Kula does not fully understand this difficult story, but Kula knows one thing, that Sella is telling her the truth. As considered as Diana and Foxy, Sella allows Kula to be pampered. Although colossal in appearance, Maxima is an interesting father figure who knows a lot. And then there was Kay, brash and violent, but quite surprisingly not without cute traits. Kula truly enjoys having her new family. In the middle of the night, she awoke with a start. Sella, who should have been sleeping next to her in the same bed, was gone. Since this was a cheap hotel, the walls were thin, so one could hear what was going on in the next room. Somehow, Sella seemed to be in the next room talking with Kay Maxima. Rubbing her sleepy eyes, Kula heads for the room where everyone had gathered. It stopped cold when she came to fathom what they were talking about. Trouble with a control mechanism? A reactor near meltdown? The whereabouts of Professor Makishima? At first, she didn't completely understand what everyone was talking about, but Kula herself soon realized, roughly, what was going on. Kula looked back at the bed in the semi-darkness, a dim light flashed and the gold custom gloves were shining. Kula puts on these custom gloves in well, gloves with their lines of combat ribbing that did not match in the least. The slightest baggy pajamas and closed her eyes, she began to transform. Her chestnut hair changed to the ice blue of a frozen lake, and a mere and in a mere instant, with but a slight Bending of her will, a chunk of ice, about the size of an ice cream scoop, appeared in the palm of her hand, and burst with a clear, and a burst with a clear diamond. If she has, if she wasn't a weapon, why did she have this power, and that normal people did not? The first time, Kula felt she needed to seriously consider this. Kula finally came to realize just how this power could be used for good. Kula was going to. She said this as she opened the door. It was hard to understand these complex matters, but perhaps Kula was not mistaken in her own, in her new resolve. Yeah, screwed up the last line, how nice. All right, we've seen all the outfits, so we don't really need to go through them. But thank you guys for watching, and still got one more to go for tonight. Adios for now. I'll set this up.